Let's talk about a uh, static uh, detector. Now, I've had some problems in the past uh, touching MOSFETs and, and breaking them just with the uh, static discharge off your hands. This, so I made up several units here. This one's a, uh, detects a positive uh, static field and it just has a, a 9 volt battery in series with a uh, LED and a JFET. This happens to be a, uh, a J113. It's the one that's on right here. And this one here is a uh, P-channel MOSFET in series with a uh, um, LED. Now I think I burned up my MOSFET a while back so this um, I should put a resistor in here. And uh, and then this here, I made up a little, um, this is an A-stable a -stable multi vibrator. I've got a, a this JFET over here and uh, we'll, sh we'll talk about how this thing this thing works. You can hear it right now, but see if I can shut that off. There you go. So if I plug this one back in, let's see if it works. So I have a, uh, a balloon here and there it goes. If I bring the uh, negative charge close to that one, it turns on this one and you can hear that one going on over there there we go that one's working so um, those those all work I'll, I'll take that off let's get rid of that noise there too okay now on these uh, this 555 timer here um, I'm using it as a uh, a stable multi vibrator, and here's here's a spec sheet here, and we just have uh, R1 and R2 on here. Now it charges through R1 and R2, and then it discharges. This is a capacitor. It discharges through through just R2 here back through this uh, transistor right here. Now in the uh, in the spec sheet. They give you this number here, this 0.693, okay, and this uh, 0.144 here to to calculate the uh, the frequency of this 555 timer. And so I was wondering what this this you know why uh, 0.693. Now we know that uh, you know 0.63 or 63 percent of the uh, that's our, our RC time constant, and uh, that that starts with. Uh, Euler's uh, formula here are 2.71828, uh, okay, and uh, we'll, I'll do that on the calculator. To find Euler's number on the calculator, just take 1 to the EX up there, that's 2.71828, that's Euler's number. We want uh, one, uh, e to the minus 1 is 0.367. Now, uh, we want to subtract 1 from that. In order to do that, we can just take uh, minus that, and then we, we plus 1 to that. And that gives us our 0.63, or 63%. So your RC, your uh, resistance times the capacitance, uh, gives you the time it takes for the capacitor to rise from your 0 volts up to 63% uh, uh, of the source voltage. And that's where this Euler number comes in. So. So we know that uh, the resistance times the capacitance is going to give us the time that it takes for the capacitor to rise up to 63% of our voltage source. Now, on the 555 timer here, they give us this number here, this 0.693 number, okay? And the reason for that is that this when this capacitor charges to two-thirds of the voltage source, this terminal 3 here will turn on, and when it discharges down to one-third, this turns off. So instead of going from 0 to 12, in this case I have 12 volts across here, instead of going from 0 to 12, it goes from 4 volts to, to 8 volts here. Okay, now if we take this uh, 0.693 number here and we put it into uh, Euler's formula over here, I'll do that on the calculator. Alright, here at the calculator let's take uh, minus 1e, okay, it gives us this number here. Now we want to take that to the, uh, we take uh, Xn here, X to the power of uh, 
0.93 and that gives us 0.5 okay so we're going to take that 0.5 times our, our 8 volts it comes out to uh, 0.5 okay so if we take our voltage is going to turn off our two-thirds volts here eight volts and we multiply that by 0.5 it gives us four volts so it the uh, 0.693 is the time it takes for the this capacitor to charge up from two one-third to two-thirds voltage okay it that would be in our case it's four volts and it gives us the time it takes to rise four volts okay so this is the number we use and this 1.44 and that's just because we, uh, we we want our frequency so if we just take the reciprocal of that and it comes out to 1.44 so that's how the uh, the 555 timer works and that's why we use these uh, these numbers here instead of our normal uh, 63 percent anyway um, this uh, this thing's going to work pretty good I'm going to uh, this is just kind of a prototype and I'll refine that a little bit and uh, use it as a uh, uh, static uh, detector on my on my bench top here. So uh, thank you.